Hello everyone, I'm Ling Yu, the product specialist for Photo AI, and I'd like to show you the new features in version 3.1.0. The first thing you'll notice is the autopilot suggestions feature. I have an image loaded into the application, and I don't have any edits added by default. Instead, I have these recommendations and suggestions down here in the suggestions feature. There's a green dot next to the autopilot recommended enhancements, such as denoise in this case. And if I mouse over the all text in blue, I'll see the selection used for this enhancement. If I click on denoise all, this is going to denoise the entire image. It's going to add the edit to my enhancements and then repopulate the suggestions with new suggestions. If I add another, suge another suggestion, such as adjust all lighting in this case, you'll see that it will repopulate with new suggestions and add adjust lighting to my image. If I wanted to go back to the previous autopilot behavior, I can simply click on the apply recommendations button down here to apply all of the autopilot recommended enhancements. Now, one of the other improvements we've made is to the preview status indicator. If I click on upscale, for example, you'll see the preview status indicator is now on the bottom left of the preview. And once the image is processed, it will actually collapse into a un unintrusive little check mark. Mousing over it will show me what the current status of the preview is. This pairs well with a improvement we've made, which is to decrease the amount of processing required when you're looking at areas of the image that have already been improved. So here you'll see I have the entire image processed. And if I were to zoom in, in the past, this would actually force the area that I'm looking at to reprocess constantly. You would see it flip between the original image and the processed image. But now, because I've already processed the entire image, anytime I pan around, I'm looking at the processed version and I'm never seeing the original. If I wanted to see the original image, I could hit the spacebar shortcut to show original and let go of it to see the processed version again. Note that if I were to change the process that I wanted to apply to the preview, like for example, changing the upscale model to standard, that would reprocess the current area I'm looking at. And all of the areas that were processed before would also need to reprocess. So in this case, zooming out would force the application to reprocess. One other major improvement that we've made to the application is overhauling the selection feature. With this current design, the selection feature is a much larger part of the application's function. And we noticed that, especially with larger images, the selection felt sluggish. It was not as snappy or responsive as it needed to be in order to make high quality suggestions. Here I'm going to try sharpening the sign as well as building around it. I'm going to add the sharpen subject suggestion and then I'm going to edit the selection. You'll see here that it's selected just this sign so I'm going to actually use my brush in order to paint other areas of the image to add to the selection. And in the past, this may have taken a while as the brush may have been laggy, but now you can see I can do it very quickly. Finally, I'd like to show you two major improvements we've made to the preserved text and face recovery features. Here I have an image with some fine text. And if I were to try and improve this image at all by removing noise, or upscaling the image, you'll see that this quite dramatically changes how the text looks. It can make the text look quite unclear. With the improved preserved text model, we can now add preserved text, very quickly brush the areas that we want to improve, and then process those areas to see what the output looks like. You'll see that compared to the original output, which we have here, is already much cleaner. So the right side of the page has been processed with preserved text, 
and is still readable, while the left side of the page is effectively unreadable. For face recovery, there was an artifact related to adding face recovery and adjust lighting or balance color to an image, especially when paired with upscale. In this new version, if I were to fix this image by adding denoise and then adding adjust lighting, finally by adding face recovery and then upscaling to any amount, you'll see that this artifact no longer appears. The output from this should be very clean and blends much better with the rest of the image. And here we have the processed output. In the past, there may, may have been a square artifact around the face where there is a significant change in the color. Now you can see that is no longer there. Thanks everyone for listening to this update of Photo AI. We hope that you enjoy it. And if you have any feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know.